here we go into a new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to get into today is going over how to create a drawing of a character for one and then to animate their eyes closing so blinking eyes and uh, we're going to do this kind of frame by frame style um, and yeah let's go ahead and get uh, jumping into it so we're going to go to flippinm.com and we want to go ahead and log in which hopefully you have your logins all created and whatnot already we're going to use the beta editor again and to get started I'm just going to use my pencil tool and choose this kind of like three I'll call it size three for uh, our pencil and use this kind of dark blue color it kind of works as a good pencil color to start. You could use any color that you want though. Um, what I'm going to do to start is start by drawing the eyes. And so we want to try to draw some decent ovals here. So just kind of very carefully clicking and dragging my mouse to try and make an oval. Remember if you can control Z if you want to undo, you can hit control Z and you could try to do another better eye. Um, don't worry too much about the positioning. Remember, you can take your position mover tool and you could move that eye if you want it to be somewhere else. Okay, so, um, and make sure you're working on your layer here, not on your paper, okay? So uh, now I'll go ahead and do a second oval over here. Try to get it as close as I can to that first one. That looks pretty good. Again, don't stress over making the eyes perfect, ovals or anything like that, okay? Um, next, I'm gonna do the pupils. And so I'm gonna make them kinda, you know, cartoony, kinda towards the middle here. So start about halfway or so, and then kinda do these curves that kinda just curve in. And remember, with this program, or with this website rather, you don't have any fill gaps options, so you gotta make sure your lines pretty much close or touch each other in order to then take your bucket and fill them in. Okay, so eyes are drawn. Gonna take my pencil again and draw a quick nose. And again, you could make your character look any way you want. You don't have to draw these same eyes. You don't have to draw the same nose. You don't have to do the same of this anything. Just as long as your animation, your character has blinking eyes, that's fine. I, I really don't, the face does not have to look just like this one. Um, so now I'm gonna go into how to draw a mouth. So I'm gonna do a quick smiley mouth. I'm going to first do kind of like the dimples out on the edges and then kind of try to come across that. I'm going to go dip, dip way down and then I'm going to curve and then come back up and kind of curve in towards that spot. Again, the mouth does not have to be open, smiling. You could have a frowny face. You could have um, a worried face, yelling face. How, whatever you want to do with the mouth is completely up to you. Okay, um, and then I'm also going to draw in a tongue here. And so I'm not sure, but I can. Yeah, I can drag. If I want to make this whole thing smaller, I can click and uh, use the size resizer tool here. Um, so I can use the size resizer tool to make this smaller because it was starting to get a little bit on the big side. Um, so that looks good. And then I can take this green tool here and I can move this uh, face wherever I want. One drawback is we can't move individual elements. So once they're there, they're kind of where they are, but you can make them smaller and you can change their position on your stage here. Um, but jumping back into this mouth. So last couple things, I want to add a line kind of for the edge of the teeth there. And then I'm going to do the tongue, which is a curve. And then I'm going to kind of overlap and do another kind of curve right there. And then I can go ahead and fill in this mouth as well. You'll notice it filled the entire thing. Control Z will undo. And I'm going to want to make sure that I just make these lines touch here. I can see there's a little bit of space in there. Um, I went a little bit over that line. I just want to go right up to it. Cool. I think that should be enough. Yeah, nice. So mouth is good. Um, now I'm going to go into the ears. So just putting them right about next to the eyes. Just going to do a little curve. And then uh, I have some ears in. And then I'll do just kind of like a little line, like a little curve in there for that little ear flap that happens. Um, and then we're well on our way. So next thing I'm going to do is get into his hairstyle. Again, you know, his, hers, hairstyles, whatever you want to do is A-OK -okay with me. This character does not need to look anything like this guy. I'm just going to give this this kind of like almost like spiky sort of like Bart Simpson-y kind of like hairstyle a little bit. Kind of like Calvin and Hobbes, sort of. Um, and then oh, now I just need to draw his chin in and so and probably some eyebrows too. forgot to add the eyebrows. So I'm just going to do like little curved lines here for eyebrows. 
cool. And then again, the chin. So I might make the chin kind of like overlap this uh, mouth line and make the mouth like too big for the for the face almost, just kind of exaggerating it. And then come around this side. And again, kind of like just make this line from the ear kind of go to his cheeks. So his cheeks are almost like jumping out of the page a little bit. Um, last thing I need to do is draw in his neck and shoulders. Um, I might take my move tool, this green tool here and click and um, change this position. You can also rotate if you click on this rotation tool and I can rotate this guy a little bit as well and then green tool uh, changes his position. The blue one will change the size. Okay, so just a couple controls that are always, that are good to know that we have our ability to do here. Um, again, last I'm going to do this neck. So neck is going to be kind of skinny, come straight down. To do the collar, I'm going to kind of go like around and out. And then I'm going to do another ring that kind of comes off that and goes back to a single point so they come to points and then just do the shoulders so just kind of this line that comes off almost to the edge of the head there and then just goes down um, so again on this side maybe angle it down a little bit almost to the edge of the side of the head and then just kind of goes down off the side so now we've got a, a character drawn so again you can use a character like this one you can change small things about it if you want to do a different mouth or a different nose you know different hairstyle that's all up to you um, but now we're ready to start animating. So all we need to do is hit our new frame button, copy frame button, and we are now going to just take our eraser tool. I'm going to bump the size up to a four here with the size of the eraser, and I'm just going to erase the top edge of the eyes. All right, so almost like a quarter of the eye, I'm just going to erase. And then I'm just going to take my pencil tool. I now have to go back to change my size to a three. And then I'm just going to draw in a new curve here for like the top of the eyes. So now they're there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit new frame, go back to my eraser. I'm going to make my size four again, just because it's a little easier to erase this with a size four. Erase down a little bit further, almost like almost to halfway down the eyes probably. And then go back to my pencil tool, go back to my size three, and then draw a new line across. All right, <laughs> nice awkward in-between blink face. Uh, another new frame, take my eraser tool, go back to the size four, erase down a little bit more. This is probably one of the close to the last ones here. Erasing down again, switch back to my pencil, switch back to size three, and then do another line that kind of connects the pupil to the outside edge of the eye another frame so fifth frame here so we should get to at least like five at least I'd say so again I, when you're erasing bump your size to size four it just makes it a little easier uh, going down this might be almost the last one um, yeah I'd say you want to get it down to at least five now I can test play this really quick so you can kind of see um, you know, and I can turn the speed up if I want to turn the speed up to the fastest so it looks like a little more like he's blinking. Um, and this is looking pretty good. So, but on this last frame, really, what should be left is just kind of the um, just kind of the closed part of the eye. So it's just like a just a drawn line curve there. So um, you just have like the eyes closed basically for that last one. So it's you could do it in as as few as five frames basically um, and then when I play you can see we got a nice preview of this guy blinking and um, you know if you do get to this point like I am at this point and I'm kind of realizing like uh, it might have been nice to have like another line for the bottom edge of his hairline um, if you want to add in details at the end kind of like I'm about to do now you could kind of add them on your paper because if you want to add them in you would have to add it on every single frame. So if you think of something last minute and you're like, ah, I would have liked to add that in, um, you could add it on your paper. So I'm gonna take my pencil again, size three, and I could add kind of like the other edge of his hairline that might kind of go like this, you know, just like where his forehead and his hair like break. Just wanted to add that other line in. 
you know, and otherwise if I wanted to add it in on this layer, I would have to draw it again on all of these frames in order for it to be there. Otherwise it would only be on one of them and I just kind of flash or appear once. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is it. Just quick blink animation uh, that we're trying to create today. So make sure you save. Okay, give it a title of something. Um, blink works. I could call it Blink 182, just cause. It kind of looks like it could be from Blink 182. Why not? Um, anyways, so make animation public. Sure, if you don't want to, don't have to. And make sure you click upload. Always confirm that you are not a robot. Unless you are, of course. We've been through this before. But then I'm probably not getting any of your work turned in. So, multiple issues there. Anyways, so there we go. Blink animation, all set in the books, distance learning, going strong. So hope you guys are all going strong as well and that you have some fun. And of, of course, uh, you know, be creative with this assignment. You could do whatever kind of face character. It could be a character you've seen somewhere from a show. It could be Rick and Morty. It could be uh, a South Park character. It could be anything. You could use any character or, or create your own. So hope you have fun. Get creative with this assignment.